You know, Scott once said that he includes a broken down robot in every single one of his games. Kind of like his thing, his calling card. But I don't see it around here. Hey, Amos, do you see any broken down robots around here? Because that's kind of Scott's thing. No? Well, maybe he kind of missed out this time. Whatever. I'll go back to the Desolate Hope. Previously, I had problems with the Viren. A great many problems. Dying problems, in fact. And I think I nailed most of them down. I did buy the 1000 HP upgrade, but that's not exactly a instant win scenario. It's just a nice crutch because, um... There's only two ways to get extra life in this game. Extra health. Either you go through a lot of lot of night phases and level up your guys using the items, or you buy a 1000 HP upgrade. For the sake of the argument, I'm going with the HP upgrade. And I put on critical hit to one second stun, because I get lots of critical hits when I get rolling. So that'll really help out. I'm also going to set on miss to charge tweak, on jo dodge to charge tweak, on my turn, charge tweak, on enemy turn, charge tweak, and every 10 seconds, charge tweak. I think you see where I'm going with this. I want charge tweaks like nobody's business. I want more charge tweaks than I don't know what to do with. So, maybe this will help out with Viren. Oh, and also I figured out what was going on with the training dummy. Why I had problems with power-ups. I indeed held on to the power-ups, but I didn't hold on to them good enough. So we're gonna try this again. I need more egg power thingies. You have the egg power thingies. You will give them to us. We need them more than you. Look at you. You're a training dummy. What do you have going in life? Nothing. First, get all your minigames running. Get your autoplay button running. And pretty much just sit there and let your items do all the work. Your chance of space lasers and all that. I don't know where the lightning is coming from, actually. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't know where the lightning attack is. It ain't Chance of Space Lasers, it's not the, the parasitic amoeba, and it ain't the fire thing. It just happens to do that. I think it has to do with a conditional. Look at that, 1000 damage per second by doing nothing, but generating power. I tell you, it's a heck of a lot quicker than going into a simulation and blowing up enemies. And time is something we don't have in this game, because you can only fight these viruses in the daytime. So there is some flaws to the whole day and night cycle thing. The fact that he locks it off is uh, a big indication of why there's problems. Especially if you want to farm levels the old-fashioned way, you have to wait for every night shift, and basically you're just sitting around until day shifts end, because what else are you going to do? Run around and grab bits. You can't jump into a sub uh, sub game and farm there because time doesn't pass when you're in a sub game. It stands still, so you can't really just sub your sub game your way tonight. And also, there's the whole uh, time limit thing with the the day uh, how many days you have left. Unless you grab power cores, you have only 15 days in this whole game. All right, Viren, this time is going to be different. This time I have a lot more health, and I fixed my conditionals. You are not gonna know what hit you. Also, I should be exploiting some more things that I've bought. Like, the head start. That's right, I'll stop him right off the bat until I can get everything running. I can also use invulnerability time, too. That works. Now we're ready to fight Viren properly. This is what I call actually using what's available to me. And as you can see, your guys could still get hurt pretty badly, especially if they're a low level, no matter how much health they have. One of the bonuses, though, is uh, Proto Wall gets a lot more health. There he goes, he's trying to drain us again. Not gonna work this time. I refuse, good sir. I have stuns for you. Every time I critical him, it's a one second stun. And there's no, like, diminishing returns, like in World of Warcraft or something. If I hit with a crit, hey, that rhymed. If I hit with a crit, that means he gets stunned. Ain't that some word I can't say. Gridstorm is good for getting multiple hits. And also, break 
virus is really good against these higher bosses because they start hitting softer. And they'll keep it that way. Counterbot isn't too bad either when they hit hard, because he'll reflect that damage right back. Unfortunately, I don't think Toy Virus does a whole lot against these lesser enemies. You just see him disappear for like a second? Well, that was me trying to toy him. Didn't work as intended. What I like using is Stun Rain and Break Virus a lot. And keeping my Proto Wall up. And pretty much the rest of the time, I use Toxin Laser to keep status effects on him. Grid Storm to have free Lightning Bolt attacks. And Burn Virus because Toxin Laser does something called Enhance. And pretty much what Enhance does is amplify your poison and fire damage for a period of time. Which is ridiculously good, especially if you activate the spike plate for extra damage. I don't like it hitting the charge button. I wish it would just automatically charge me, but then that would be too easy. Oh no, my pets have gone missing. I need more pets. I need all the pets. I would have to say in uh, order of what you should have first for pets, Taser Pod and the tank thingy, the grid turret, and then Counterbot if you have time. Because Counterbot isn't all that helpful. That was a lot different result than last time, wasn't it, Viren? It's like I was cheating or something, but no, I paid good money for it. As Unam said, it's not cheating if you paid good money for it. Maybe you should have tried cheating. You wouldn't be exploding right now. I would be angry and doing this game, doing that level over again. I hope he never comes back. Ah, almost 1,000 damage per second. I'm getting there. I need a few more levels and or some lucky crits. Looks like he was protecting a program that develops robotic humans, but that's by Obeda's. Don't tell me these viruses are going to start reaching across simulations now. What's wrong with a virus being happy? I'll tell you what's wrong with a virus being happy. Probably involves my death. So let's not go with that assumption, huh? You no, know I wonder what's going on with Alphys now. Let's have another conversation with him, see what's up. I bet he's perfectly dandy with his simulation running at minimum power now. And it going into that Theta simulation. Which, for some reason, we can't access. I bet that Theta Simulation is like Wily's Castle. We're gonna have to go into that next. These are like the, the, the robot masters in Mega Man. Except we fight them with RPG battles, and they don't give us their powers afterwards. Because I could really use an Abandon. I want Drain status. Alpha has one final factoid about coffee. He was kind of dull up until recently. All he did was salvage old science pods, and then all of a sudden he had a purpose. He must have found something that made him really believe in the mission. And that's when he started getting interested in virus killing. And helping out derelicts. Actually, the... All these robots in this game are actually references to the Desolate Room. Alphys is, of course, Alphys from that game. I believe that, um... That Malenz is... Derelict? Mirad is uh, has a counterpart called Tool, and BioBeta has, um... I can't remember what BioBeta's counterpart is. I'll find out eventually. I can't remember it off the top of my head. In fact, let me check something. Yeah! BioBeta's counterpart is called Defect. I have a notepad here, but whenever I click off the screen, it makes the music stop. Which is why I can't read it, because I can't change the size of my window. It cuts off things. This game doesn't resize well. Oh, well, this is just terrible. I don't like this at all. They're trying to make new humans here. I don't I don't agree with this. I think the virus should take it all. I don't care what they do with it, as long as they keep BioBeta from making people. He's working on the future evolution of mankind. Unlike the other derelicts who are working on future human development, He's actually taking it literally. He is working on human development. He doesn't know what happened to Earth. They might have just died off. Probably from their own accord. If someone needs to be realistic, I'm going to make new people. 
biological people. Because robots aren't good enough for them. The last thing we need is a robot human. But he's missing something. He was in one of the science pods. And it would have helped him out. Previously, they were just sending science pods to them to help with their simulations. But then other parts started arriving. Like photographs and toys and such like that. And clocks. I think the humans are just messing with them. You know, just uh, saying, hey, let's just suddenly send all these robots useless junk and see if they get OCD about it. Looks like we're finding something called Sample 217. He needs it to help make a developed human mind. But well, guess what he's not getting? Sample 217. No, it doesn't make sense. You are her terrible. I wish I could murder you. You are the true monsters here. I'm on the side of the virus this time. The virus is the good guy, as far as I'm concerned. I don't appreciate any of this. I don't appreciate your work. No, I haven't seen it. I totally don't have a stash somewhere. Why are you looking at me like that? I forgot what uh, Coffee was saying, because I was too busy being outraged. It said something about uh, where the virus is. It's not this way. That just leads to, um... That just leads to a sandbox. I think we have to go this way. It's hidden in one of the rooms we've seen before, so we're gonna have to go across this street yet again. So, so I do kind of regret exploring this place a little early, but... I really wanted those bonuses and conditionals, I'm sorry. Yes, it has been misplaced. No, someone's not hiding it from you. Nobody is anti-human here but me, and I wouldn't think about stealing a sample 217. Unmanned science pods! They were bombarding us with useless items. Why waste the space? I think the humans are trolling you. They have no respect for you. Why are you trying to make new ones? Look, trolling is not just in the DNA. Being human is a state of mind. It's not a species or anything like that. When you're a jerk, you're a human. I'm sorry. What do you have to say? Oh no, Sample 217! We are all obsessive about it. Also, Duke Nukem's face out of nowhere. Why? Because... I don't know. I could really use some more yellow charges. Give yellow charge. I don't really need them because this is going to be a version 1 virus and it's going to be completely destroyed by the fact I still have my anti v set up. I'll be fairer next time and turn off the on-crit stun thing and just make a charge tweak instead. That'll work. But it's time to face the first virus of bio-beta simulation, the beta grid! This virus is still in beta. <laughs> you get it? Alright, let's see what we're up against. What kind of person is this? It's actually one of my most favorite viruses in this game. It's Puppetin! I kind of like the look of him. He kind of looks like something that you would see in a sci-fi movie, pretending to be God. Asking for spaceships and whatnot, because that's the meme with Star Trek, isn't it? Yeah, Intense Intensity, I found out, also cures some of most status effects, so... That's why they use it even though they don't really need the speed. Also, speaking of which, I need more autoplay. And this guy's just pretty much dead already. Absolutely no chance. This is kind of like the virus version of me from the last video. Instantly destroyed, no chance. Except the virus doesn't get a whole bunch of bits and gets to continue with its story. Sorry, Puppet Knight, I had to destroy you like that, but... I really didn't want to go back to a boxcar and change my conditionals to make it more fair for you. We'll see you when you get stronger. I didn't even have a chance to ramp up there. He just clunk. He just fell over. And I've de de decoded a new way to make you not be a jerk. It's a life support program. It can keep living tissue working for up to 16 years. But there's no humans on the station. That ain't useful for anything. Probably if BioBeta completed his ability to make a human, then he could preserve it somehow. Until they could get some oxygen on the station. I don't think any of these robots breathe. Oh well. At least we salvaged that part of it. 
when are we going to be handing these back? Because their, their simulations are looking kind of cruddy. Oh well, we'll cross that road when we come to it. Next time on The Desolate Hope, we solve what's wrong with Bio Betas. He has a puppet in there, and I'm going to be pulling the strings. Good night, folks.